O te moi fantalo fantur tanto to no ulene vaing olaso. O le uma will ever know a fantalo no inicio alum fana ulutanto to no. Ua fatmanuina ille porido youth awards more than eight of sanga luafe luase fulu matasi. O ne water lot of fight long island sound tower on iso talavo to turn all the name no poli lua. E to long a fatla or onga. O ta alonga. Ia pole fanta uwa leo lantu o nanga jutonua onga male community. Joining us in studio is Failelei Fei Nafatali. Failelei Fei Nafatali. She is a Porido Youth Award winner for 2021, recognizing her achievements within education. Failelei is a year 13 student at Bishop Viad College in Porido, and she is also the head girl of the college. Talo for lava, Failele, welcome to Samoa Capital Radio. Talo for lava, Fafetai le atua, ua tato filoa i ili langi e mama, iluma o nuu, aile o tua o nuu, fa talo fa atu, fo i ili mama lo Samoa, lo fa fofonga mai i maota, malawa, malo, le soifua, manuia. Fafetai fo i, ilau susunga, mole a vanoa o mafai ai, o na tato tala noa i lunga o le ea. Faftai Failelei, can you share with us where you're from in Samoa, your villages, and who are your parents and grandparents, and what church do you go to? Um, I come from Salai Lua in Savai, um, Lutukufanga in Upolu, and um, I go to Efakasa, Cannon Creek, and sorry, what was the other question? Your parents and your oh, grandparents. My grandparents on my mum's side is... Um, then Malia Swani and my um my grandma my maternal grandma is Suvali Le Malie. My paternal um and my paternal grandpa is Susunga Nafatali. My dad's my dad is Sifu Nafatali and my mum is Lalapu Nafatali. Failele, can you describe the feeling of winning this award and can you describe what this award means for you? Um this award feels like honorable because like it's not like only your school recognizing you but like the city where you grew up and especially like it's categorized as a youth so you're being recognized as like because sometimes the youth aren't always like recognized and like we're like we have the power to change the future so it's important that we're recognized now because um yeah because there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna do in the future which I know will be big. Failele, can you talk to us about the process of applying for this award? And how did you find out? Um, I don't know about this award. I, I thought you had to be nominated because I knew, um, yeah, my friend Emilita, she won it back in year 11. So I thought you had to be nominated. And then um, my teacher, Gina, she, um, and she um, encouraged me to apply. So, yeah, so basically it's like a CV, but, but like, but in depth, like it, expa it tells you to like explain everything in detail because they really want to know everything you've achieved. So basically from sp any sports you've done, like performing arts, what else? Where you, even where you work, they ask where you work, they ask what you want to do in the future and your academic um, achievements. Oh, that was for my... Um, application but I don't know if it's different for like the other ones like for sports and stuff yeah so that's how it went for me. Failele can you talk to us about the process of applying for this award and can you describe how you found out that you had won? Um, I found out by email it was so funny because I was busy um, applying for Victoria Uni scholarships that I forgot about this one and then like the, the day that I sent it out I was just waiting and then I found out like 10 days later or something, like I took, did I just look through my emails looking for Vic application, like feedback, then I saw that and I was like so happy. And, like, <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I, got a, um, yeah, I got a phone call from one of the ladies there. It's really good. Falele, in your category of education, can you describe what your education achievements are at your school and what you're currently doing to get where you are today? Um, so in regards to my education, um, I, I've, um, <clears throat> I've achieved uh, excellence endorsement in level one, two and three this year. So I'm just awaiting on gaining university entrance 
And yeah, it was like throughout year nine and 10, I didn't really, I wasn't really focused on school. That was like my, like, my, what, what do you say it? Like your, like, your playing around years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then like, it wasn't until year 11, like I realized that like, if you wanna go uni, like your results from NCA like affect like UE and stuff and like how you get accepted and the scholarships. So yeah, then I started like level one, like, yeah, that's when my mindset really changed basically. And I'm grateful for like that shift that I needed because, you know, not everyone realizes it at a young age. Of Taifei can you describe the role your parents, your grandparents or your family has on your life and your journey as a young person? Um, my family plays a big role in my like achievement because I'm the youngest, so like I'm the I'm the only grandchild in college right now. So like every like everything's like on me. Like all my cousins, my my first cousins come to my prize giving stuff, and it's just like the extra support you need. Like if like. If I'm like down or something, if I don't have the motivation, I know that my family like to like push through for and they'll always be there. Even if I don't get what I'm striving for, they're always there like supporting me. So yeah, they pay like a main part in my like my achievement because um, what's called um, we have prize giving this year and our families can't attend. And yeah, that's something I look forward to this year to show my family like how hard I've worked in school and like just them not being there is like pretty hard because like your last year of school, you just want them to be there to celebrate with you. So yeah. Fafatai, can you describe how Bishop Via College has played a part in your life and your journey so far? Um, yeah, my college, Bishop Via has played a big role in my journey. Um, like they really encouraged me to like go for all the scholarships and um, opportunities that come my way. And like, yeah, like there's, there was just like, with our new principal coming in, there was like a big shift in everything. So like we like, yeah, it was just like a wake up call for like our students. We changed the way that we like saw school. Like it wasn't just like go to school, sit down, do your work. It was like go to school and work for the future that you want. If that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, we had played a big role in my um in my journey and yeah, I'm really proud to come from Viad. Awesome. <laughs> Finally, can you talk to us about what you're going to do when you leave school? Say in the next year, the next two to five years, what do you want to do when you leave college? Um, when I leave school I plan on becoming a um a teacher in secondary. So next year I plan on um doing a Bachelor of Arts degree majoring in history and Pacific studies. So yeah, I wanna be a history teacher or like just a Pacific study teacher. Cause like, I, it's like interesting, like Pacific history and New Zealand history. And it's good, like it's being introduced more into the curriculum. And I wanna be part of that change when like the big, you know, introduction of like Pacific history, like dawn raids, like New Zealand land war, like all that stuff, yeah. If I lay to close off, can you say a few words of encouragements to our young people of our community. Um, my encouragement that I want to give to um, my community, especially in Porirua, is um, don't, <clears throat> don't think that excellence is not achievable because where we come from, because like it's where we come from that makes us, makes us successful because like we go through like hardships, especially like coming from like lower decile schools as we had we're like the our school decile determines like how successful we are but that shouldn't be the case because i know like <clears throat> the struggles that like we have grown up with will only like help us like reach our future and like want to even more and prove wrong like to other communities is there anything else you want to say last words for future applicants for the porido youth award um, just 
if you want to get it, not just for the purpose of it, but just be a good person within your, just start with that, being a good person of your community and just think about how you can help Porirua and what and just be an example for the future youth of our city. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Fafitai lava, failalei, all the best for the future. We are proud of you and keep on doing the amazing work that you're doing for our people. Fafitai lava, failalei, God bless.